guys welcome back or welcome to my youtube channel today's vlog is going to be very laid back and just relax we don't have any plans for today and i don't think we're going out which i feel like when i vlog i'm usually going out and doing a bunch of shopping but for today i'm just going to show you a really chill day in my life i already had breakfast and already made my coffee let me get my journal and i'll show you guys what i have planned for myself so i decided to get a journal this one so cute it says daily chirps and it has a bird like i think that's the cutest thing ever i have been very consistent with it which i'm very proud of myself for i hope i continue to be consistent with it let's go to january 5th here's what's on my to-do list for today i want to wash my towel because i got it dirty last night and it's in the dryer right now after i wash my towel and dry it i'm gonna take a shower real quick just like a body shower i already had coffee so i can actually cross that off I have not told you guys this yet, but we got a robot vacuum. I will show you. There is our robot vacuum. His name is George, and I run him every morning. It's to help my allergies, so when I come out here, there's not three cats worth of hair just sitting on the floor. Zach and I have been doing this leg and glute workout every night. We've done it one, two, three, three days in a row so far. So go us, Zach. Zach's over on the couch right now sleeping. He didn't sleep very well last night so he's taking a nap i have built legos on here because i've had this little lego set for a long time now and i need to build it it's winter themed so i need to do it soon because it's not gonna be winter anymore in like a few months morning skincare i always do my morning skincare right before i get in the shower so i haven't done it yet drink water my goal is three water bottles uh, another one is iron i did take my iron because i am iron deficient so i've taken it for four days now so that's good and then i also have a goal of reading one chapter of my book i'm reading hook line and sinker by tessa bailey it's pretty good so far daniel's at work so it's just zach and i but i really just think we're gonna end up staying in i feel like usually i would like to force myself to go out and do something but just not in the mood today this morning vision got on the counter when no one was looking and ate some of daniel's bagel Ugh, i don't know what we're gonna do about him he thinks human food is his food so i i don't know if anyone has any suggestions comment down below i'm just gonna wait for my towel to be done in the dryer and then i'm gonna shower My towels have been in the dryer for like a half hour, so I'm gonna check on them. They feel dry. I think they are dry. Towels are done. now so i was getting out my lego set oh this is shaking so i have my little ring light on because it's kind of dark in here hopefully that doesn't bother you guys i was getting out my lego set the piece that i've already started on and i literally dropped it and sliced myself and it hurts so i'm getting a band-aid it's one of these pixar band-aids so that's pretty cool but one is it? it's monsters university oh. specifically monsters university they're wearing backpacks here's the band-aid guys band-aid of the day and then we need to get you more of these i guess that because they're, they're all cool. gone they're all gone but that hurt you wouldn't think a lego set would hurt you that bad but i'm going to put on some gossip girl and finish building this lego set and of course i will give you guys some updates this is what it's supposed to look like at least the first half of it and then i do have another book to build two to three more sections of it so this is what I'm working on right now, and here's what I have so far. <laughs> so it definitely has ways to go, but here's a little bit of the front. And then inside, I think, is so cute. There's a little couch, table, little cookies, and there's an espresso machine back here, if you can see it right there. And then a fireplace. The fireplace is supposed to light up 
So maybe I'll get to see how that's actually supposed to work. And then I have two Lego characters built that came with the set. This girl and this guy, and the girl comes with this little cat, which is literally adorable. I'm gonna turn on some Gossip Girls and build my Lego set. Gossip Girls? Gossip Girl, sorry. Isn't Gossip Girl a guy? Maybe people haven't watched Gossip Girl yet. I don't, oh, that's not what it's on. Uh, you told, or I think you told me. Watching it back, they really don't make it seem like the person that is Gossip Girl is Gossip Girl. So I wonder if I'm remembering it wrong, but I'm pretty sure I'm remembering it right. What the f*** have I been watching it on? Someone else's account? Oh, that's gonna piss me off. <sighs> <laughs> oh my God, that's so terrible. That bothers me so bad. I cannot believe that. First update on my Lego house. I finished a whole bag. Built this little room up here, bedroom. I need to turn the TV off, it is way too loud. But I finished this little bedroom up here. There's a little picture over here. And then this has taken forever, but I'm building the little like log cabin part right here and there's a cute little bird and some windows so i will report back once more is built all right so i got another update for you guys i've now added on this piece right here a little door some windows right here so the front is really coming together and then on the inside here oh it's so cute i have two little beds and i love the blue so cute and then some dressers, a flower, some candles, and a little like Christmas decoration. And I love this little like table thingy here. I don't know why. And I'm assuming these are like snow prints. I don't know, but love how the door opens. And then little rugs, so cute. Finished another bag. So here's the front. I'm not sure if we did anything too much on the front other than these really annoying pieces that have honestly been like making me really mad, but built some of this chimney and then when you push this thing let me see if i can give you a good angle look at that the fireplace lights up is that so cute and there's a little fireplace in there too next to the bed i love that okay guys it's really coming together so we have a little roof action going on here and then if you look inside we have a whole third level which is so cool a little bed, candle, and some little tables, a present here, and then this uh, is finished over here, and I can push this, and it lights up. Okay, guys, I think this is gonna be the final update for building Legos, but the front is finished. I think it looks so cute, all these flowers, a squirrel, this little balcony. I put this guy up here, but he's not permanent. The little two pines inside, so cute. And then this guy, I don't know where to put him yet, but all finish is done. And then we have the roof up here, has snow on it. And then the inside is almost finished. I think I might have already showed you guys this, but again, push this and it lights up. I put this girl in the seat because I didn't know where to put her. And then her cat is up here. And I'm gonna build a tree for the like, living area right here but other than that this part is done the only part left is let me show you which i don't know if i'm gonna do this part tonight but i have a little ice rink over here and then over here i guess this is an outhouse zach made me a little snake so i have a very small amount of pasta and mozzarella sticks and some matter and matter I've been coloring for a while. I did finish this one up. I really like how this one turned out. And then I literally just spent a whole hour doing this one and I like it. I think it turned out nice. I did mess up in a few spots. So I was like, let me just put some like dark outlining on it. But I really like how I did the license plate. I think it's cute. We just put nail caps on all the cats. Cause it's about time. Look at his new set. We've got, <laughs> brown and pink glittery and then one old one <laughs> but uh yeah what a nice new set <laughs> 
The cats have a really bad habit of climbing up the couches and stuff like that, so nail caps help to keep them from doing that. Of course, we don't want to declaw them because that's not good, so this is a better way to handle that situation. Oh, VG. Unfortunately, it was time to work out. I took like a 25 minute nap, maybe a half hour. I don't even really know, but today is such a lazy day, but I feel like it's so important to show you guys that days like this happen. I don't always go out, go shopping, do things. Uh, like that and I feel like I haven't had a day like this in a while where I just stay in and I don't leave the apartment at all whatsoever same with Zach I feel like he always goes out at some point and I don't think he's gone out at all today correction I think he went out and got my prescription we're gonna do our workout real quick and I'm not gonna vlog that because I have to watch the video on my phone I also wanted to quickly mention that Zach broke my wallet at Target the other day so I picked out a new wallet and this is it is that not the cutest thing ever when you open it? It's so cute. Also, another thing I wanted to show you guys is we had Daniel's parents over for like a Christmas because Daniel and I had COVID on actual Christmas when we were supposed to celebrate with them. And I wanna quickly show you guys what they got me. This one I can't show you because there's a code on it, but they got me a little slip of paper for $100 to White Fox, which I'm genuinely so excited about. The sweatshirts that I want are always sold out. They actually restocked last night, but they didn't have my size, so. I'm patiently waiting. Another thing that they got me was Champagne Toast gift set from Bath and Body Works. I'll show you guys. I've never gotten a gift set from Bath and Body Works before, so this was really cool. But it comes with a body wash, a body lotion, and a mist. This one doesn't smell bad. And I think it's really cute. Like, I love their packaging. And the last thing I think is really cute is his mom likes to make little, like, soaps. So she got me three soaps that look like snowflakes. Peppermint, I think one's lemongrass. This might be the lemongrass one. And then lavender. And they smell really good. We'll definitely be trying these out. Zach is here now and we're going to work out. Just finished the workout, guys. Oh my God. It feels good. Like it feels good to do it. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, I'm like, oh my God. Always stay hydrated. This is my third water. This is my second. You're beating me. So. One thing that I wanted to do, sorry, I'm just out of breath. One thing I wanted to do at the beginning of the new year is to limit the amount of sugar that I'm consuming. So I didn't completely cut it out, but I allow myself 20 grams of sugar a day. Six of that is for my coffee in the morning because I have to have creamer. I don't like just plain espresso and milk. And then depending on what I eat that morning, it'll go towards like a bagel or something, which bagels, we can't find bagels that are less than four grams of sugar. Like that's the lowest I could find at the store. But let me show you guys. I'm sure a lot of grocery stores sell these, but I get mine at Target. They have this brand called Yasso. If I'm saying that wrong, I'm sorry. But it's Greek yogurt bars, but it's just like ice cream. Like it's made out of Greek yogurt, but it, it's just, it's ice cream. In my head, it's ice cream. They have so many flavors and they're so good and they have protein and they also have low sugar. So for example, one of these bars, this is the cookies and cream one, which I haven't tried yet. Nine grams of sugar for one bar and they're pretty decent size. Like this is chocolate fudge. This one is only eight grams of sugar. Love this one, very good. They're big, like here's it next to my head. Here's it next to a water bottle. Of course, some of that's like the stick, but these are good and I look forward to these now every day. I had this one last night. This one is chocolate chip cookie dough. Very good. It wouldn't be as good if it didn't have little pieces of cookie dough in it, but literally so good. Anyway, yeah, so if you want to sponsor me, I love you. Something I found that I feel like I should mention. Okay, so the first day of the new year, Zach can back me up on this. I pushed myself too hard. I was like, get out of bed, skincare, shower, trying to make my bed. Like I did too much. I was trying to do everything all at once. I'm not doing that. And I feel like what I'm doing right now works. I don't enjoy getting out of bed within five minutes of waking up, but I do enjoy sitting in front of my heater. So I will wake up, do what I need to do, but then I give myself time to sit in front of my heater while I journal. So I'm doing something productive while doing something that in my head isn't very productive. Does that make sense? Like I'm not completely getting rid of sugar, but I'm limiting it. So there's balance. So I feel like that's very important if you guys are feeling overwhelmed with your New Year's resolutions. One thing that I feel like helps me a lot is we have a gym here at our apartment complex. It's winter. 
it's like 30 degrees outside. I know I've mentioned that. So I, the last thing I want to do is walk outside to the gym. So to compromise, we're working out here in my room, doing a video. We're still getting our heart rate up, breaking a little sweat and working out. But we're just starting with a 10 minute video that makes us feel good when we do it. And this is our fourth day I think so. doing it now. So that's good. But you just have to compromise, you know, like I'm still doing something good for myself that I wasn't doing before, but I haven't fully committed to going to the gym. You know what I mean? I just feel like finding a good balance is so much better for my mental health and helps me feel a lot less overwhelmed and more motivated. Like I feel motivated to go into my room where it's comfortable and do that. And eventually, once we've had a few weeks of commitment to that, I told him we'll add on another video, like another 10 minute video, of maybe like abs or arms or legs or something like that. And eventually the goal is to be at the gym. Like I said, if you guys are feeling unmotivated, maybe you're just overwhelmed and putting too much pressure on yourself and you need to take a step back and find a way to compromise with yourself. Sarah's here to teach you guys. I wanna give advice, you know, I'm only 23, I'm freshly 23, but Fresh. I feel, I feel like I'm learning. Okay, I've been working on my Sims place for a minute. We just moved apartments. Here's the front door. And then over here, I don't know why, but there's just this little random space. So I put the litter box over here. Out here is a balcony. And I put a grill and a little exercise thingy, some lounge. We have a TV area. And then of course, our kitchen which has to be big because she loves cooking some posters and then there's stairs that lead up here which is really small but it's okay but here's their bedroom a little closet space and then their bathroom so i really like this apartment it's definitely a lot nicer than the last one look at this beautiful like open space layout i love that i got dinner guys these are chicken tacos with cheese and i have ranch and hot sauce and some green beans Okay guys, I finished dinner and now it's time for my popsicle. Both Daniel and Zach said that I should try the cookies and cream one, so I'm gonna do it. It'll at least be... Looks like cookies and cream to me. Sounds good. It's pretty good. Not my favorite, but it's good. It is time for my second shower of the night, so I'm gonna go do that real quick. 